Okay, awesome, thank you. So welcome everyone to our Chaos Diversity and Inclusion Working Group meeting on June 10th, 2019. The agenda is to work on metrics and get them ready for release. Does anyone have uh, any other agenda items? If not, then we can get started. Last week, we already worked through the four metrics, diversity access tickets, code of conduct at the event, family friendliness of events, and leadership mentorship. And now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know. Um, Here, you have a lot of background noise, I think. Yep, I do. I can only maybe just myself. Maybe just speak louder, that's all. I, I don't even know where the microphone <laughs> is. <that>. <laughs> I'm looking for the microphone. I have no idea where it is on this device. If you are closer to the laptop, it works. So if I do this, it works. <laughs> it's probably good for the video recording. So in the chat, I just put the link to the metrics as pre preparing for release. Mm -hmm. And then also in the chat, um, I'm going to put the, the second one is the Google Doc for taking minutes, taking notes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's use the, let's use the Google Doc for sending messages back and forth and set up the chat. Hmm. Which Google Doc? This one? Yes, the one for the... That's fine. I just had to get the... I had to get the link out to everybody. <laughs> so yeah, thank you. Sure. Uh, well, I was I was wondering if you are aware of the this document and what we are trying to do and the workflow we typically have. I, I am not. The only conversation I've had was at KubeCon, so I'm trying oh. to catch up. <laughs> okay, perfect. So um yeah, so perhaps as an introduction, uh well. So this is the diversity and inclusion working group. So this is what we were discussing there in KubeCon. So thank you for, for attending this meeting and, and well, the previous, uh, previous Tuesday for the weekly monthly meeting for uh, chaos. Um, so what we are now in the different working groups is we are trying to release certain number of metrics like, well, these are ready to be consumed, let's say. Um, and for this, the first, uh, uh, link provided by Matt. This is like the list of metrics we have in each of the seven focus areas that we have in diversity and inclusion. So you see that we have event diversity, contributor community diversity, communication inclusivity, etc. And then there are some yellow, green, blue, and red things. So this is some, let's say, uh, agreement between the people uh, that were participating in this meeting. Like, well, this looks good, good to me. This might be included in the in the release. So those in green, the four in green, so you can see three in event diversity and another one in leadership, from our point of view, those are ready to go. Uh, this means, and uh, probably Matt and Georg, you can add some more information here, that will be part of the official release from Chaos, diversity and inclusion. And if you follow the, the link I just left, um, those are, let's say, the four pull requests we have uh, for the release of this document. So if you enter there, you will, you will see the 77, 78, 79, 80. And if you click in any of them, what you will see are uh, basically a commit or several commits where we are having some specific discussion, where we are kind of releasing and opening a discussion about, well, this is the metric as we feel should be there. So if you check one of them, for instance, let me open this one. I'm sharing right now in the uh, in the chat again, which is okay. family, even diversity, family friendliness. Um, so as you can see, there are some changes from the previous version where we are basically discussing about the question. So each of the sections that you can see here, these are the same across all of the metrics we have in diversity and inclusion. So we have the question, the description, sample objectives, sample strategies, sample success metrics, some resources. So 
we are trying to fill everything in all of these sections in all of the metrics we have. The four that we feel that are the, the, in a good shape, we can say, uh, are these four. Um, so for today, I, will, I, I guess that the discussion will be to focus on these four, four metrics and say, well, these are good for us. There are not extra comments. I, I saw that there are some comments, for instance, from Emma, from Mozilla. So we have to discuss about them and say, well, these are ready to release and so on. For the rest of the working groups, basically we are following a similar approach, different templates and so on, but similar approach. So. All right, wow, y'all are organized, I like this. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Thank you for the good Thank feedback. Yeah. Matt or Georg, I don't know if you'd like so, to say something else or I missed some point. I think you covered it quite well. The comment that Emma made is on the template, we have sample objective sample success metrics and so on to remove sample and just say, hey, these are the objectives that we identified. Mm -hmm. And I fully agree with it. So I started removing sample from the headings just now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, and, and the second link shared by Matt, this is where we are having all of the, um, well, agenda proposal and meeting notes. So if you scroll down, you will see all of the discussion we've been going through during the previous weeks. And this is all, oh, by the way, the date for the release was the 20th of June? No? Yeah, 20, 20, 21st, somewhere in that range. And then there'll be a, so each of the working groups will have, they'll put forward some number of metrics for the first release. And as Daniel pointed out, um, DNI has four that look like candidates uh, for release. Um, and so those will be kind of frozen in late June and there'll be an open comment period for about a month. Mm -hmm. um, and then following that comment period, uh, actually do the release. Where will this release occur? Is there going to be like, yep. okay, yeah, when you talk about the release, what is that? Yep. So it'll be a document that identifies, um, the different work groups. So diversity and inclusion is one. Evolution is one, value is one, risk is one, and common is one. And so these will just be identified on the website, which is chaos.community. Okay. And then, so it'll, it'll really just be as published on the website. And then there's software too associated in this project, but that's really not this. Mm -hmm. uh, so Grimoire Lab, a uh, set of software tools that help in the deployment of those metrics. So the metrics by themselves are really just kind of, <laughs> they're very well thought out conceptualizations, but how they actually occur in practice is kind of another question. So Grimoire Lab, like I said, is one set of tools and they have their own release schedule for that tool. Augur is another tool. They have their own release schedule. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know, uh, Georg or Matt, do you think it's, well, or an, an L probably it's worth if we try to summarize the metrics we have right now, like in. Project yeah, that'd be great. So my proposal is to merge the four pull requests since we already had our lazy consensus reached at this point and then focus on a new metric or one that we have not reviewed yet. Yeah. And are, are those this meeting. are those four the Georg the ones that are marked as ready for release? Are they done? Mm -hmm. Yes. Purposes are pretty much done. Okay. Any beyond anything that may come up in the public comment period? Correct. The working group has no intentions of changing anything on these. Okay. Fair enough. Great. Um, I may have. If these are ready for release, I might have Kevin start drafting kind of a mock web page that would start thinking through how we would display these mm -hmm. on the website. So I got a thumbs up. So I'll reach out to Kevin and kind of point him. Plus here. one. Okay, thanks. Uh, Kirk, just a small comment here. Uh, let me know what you think. So we have the mentorship. Um, analysis, I mean the mentorship uh, oh, metric, 
And so which is the pull request 177. And we have the question, how effective are, are our mentorship programs at supporting diversity and inclusion in our project? Um, I remember we were um, in the common metrics working group. We had this specific uh, like resources or well, not exactly resources, but uh, kind of implementation. And I remember that we have uh, kind of an example in the OpenStack gender diversity report. So where should we add this, what do you think? That's a good question. Um, so when it comes to um, the gender diversity report, I assume you have a specific metric or visualization. So we could fit it under success metrics um, or under resources. Yeah, in re oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I see in the raw file the resources, uh, the OpenStack gender report. But it's like in this case, so, let, so in Grimoire Lab, let's say we don't have mentorship metrics by themselves, but, but you can run mentorship analysis, which is what we did for the OpenStack gender report. So I don't know if it makes sense because mentorship by itself, well, it's kind of a really broad metric, so. Can you, can you pull up the graphs or diagrams or whatever you're talking about, the section of the report, and maybe share yeah. your screen so we know what you're talking about? Yes, yeah. so if you open, this URL, which is in the metric, uh, let me share in the chat, which is there, it's that PDF, and you go to page, page 13. Uh, this is analysis that we did for outreach and Google Summer of Code. Uh, part of these metrics that we mentioned there are already part of the raw, um, oh yeah, thank you. Page 13, yeah, right there. So these numbers that you can see, the map, uh, the number of students per country, these were, I mean, these were part of uh, the data we had in Grimoire Lab. So, well, produced by Grimoire Lab. So then if you go down, you will see like the retention rate, uh, in average and in mean, maximum, minimum, uh, like the number of active developers, etc., cetera, and a comparison with the rest of the community. So this is because we had all of the students involved in outreach analyzed, and we, we can compare with the rest of the community and we can track some numbers like the ones you can, you can see. Uh, so how to bring this? No, oh, and this this is another thing. So this is the uh, gender analysis, let's say. So if you go from 13 to 17, this is the mentorship analysis that was run on top of the data we had for OpenStack Foundation. So I don't know. So my, my first thought is that um, now it would be good to have a template change, one where we include sample implementations mm -hmm. or known implementations like we have in the other templates. And we can just add it here. Um, I, I suggest to merge the pull request we have right now and create a new one mm -hmm. to add a new section, uh, probably between the success metrics and before the resources and then have mm -hmm. unknown implementations with screenshots. Okay. Because I think this is, this is really good um, in my opinion. These are good way, uh, numbers and showing that we can do it. I, I think mm -hmm. will help people. What do you think, Matt? It makes sense. So what, what's, this, what's, the, what's the outstanding question here? I was sending an email to Kevin. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, so the question is, so we have in diversity and inclusion, one of the focus areas and questions is mentorship. But mentorship, if you enter into the success metrics, there are a list of them. 
and part of them are based on this analysis, part of them are based on other experiences, but this is, it's like the, the really low, the really, really low level metric is not in the metric template because we, we are using kind of a bunch of them, uh, but some of them are already in this and can be in this case, or, or this analysis was done thanks to Grimoire Lab. So, but it's not like, okay, we are looking for pull requests, so this is the panel. But you can run this analysis with this tooling, which is kind of a, an example of an implementation, but it's more, but it's not like a direct metric. So is the concern that mentorship, like on this, on this sheet, on the spreadsheet, and the requisite detail page behind, that it doesn't map perfectly to what's in here? Uh, or is it about displaying, I guess I'm... The question as I understand it right now is, how do we include in our metric page uh, the screenshots or examples of how we are able to get metrics for mentorship using the chaos tools that we have. Mm. And the report, the OpenStack report, clearly shows it's possible. We just need to figure out how to represent it in our metric. Yeah, I see. And my proposal is to add a new section, known implementations, as the second to last uh, section, right above resources. So this is under mentorship, is under leadership? Correct. Yeah. Right. Okay, and then I see it. Okay, I'm, I'm just getting over to that detail page. <laughs> so like, uh, you're, you just wanna add a, Section five, Georg, that would be like known implementations and then turn resources into section six. That right. is my proposal. Right. Um, I mean, what, um, I have no problem with that. I guess the, what is, is it known implementations? Is that the phrase we use or the other? In the common working group, uh, let me check. That would be the only thing. Yeah, there we have um, reference implementation and known implementations. We have both? Yes. So I see known implementation. Yeah, um, and you had proposed known implementation, Gary? Correct, because the way that Sean explained it on Thursday, when we were in the common working group is reference yeah. implementation is like a Jupyter notebook where it's about the code and then known implementations is about the tools that have a resemblance. Okay, so I think looking that. through the, I have no problem with that. And I think looking through the, like the huge metrics list, a lot, most of them are known implementation. So, okay. You have no problem with that. Yeah. So let's then let's merge. Can we can we have this perhaps in the notes? Uh, I know I lost the link. Yeah, you should be able to edit the notes. Yeah, I was. I'll merge the pull requests. Oh, you shouldn't merge yours. I am ruthless when it comes to that, but feel free to merge them if you want to. <laughs> is this is this comment only for the mentorship metric or is it for all metrics? I would say for all metrics. Okay, but if there, so maybe I'll write a note that says if there is a known implementation, yeah. To include a new section called known implementation. Okay, Daniel, I merged the two pull requests that you created. 
Yeah, I'm on mine. yours. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. When I'm merging something, I need to have this signed by me as well, I guess. No, it's not required. At least the DCO bot is not going to complain. Okay. Is it known implementation or <clears throat> known implementations? Is there an S at the end of it? The template in the evolution working group does have an S in it. Okay. Both were merged. Okay, and I got it in the notes as well. Awesome, thank you. Can you still see the document that I'm sharing? Yep. Uh, level of completeness? It's the spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. So sorry, unmuting and muting is really difficult while I'm sharing my screen. Anyway, so I was uh, just thinking that we could now pick the next metric and start working on or start reviewing it and cleaning up for the release. Yeah, um, L, maybe are you interested in any specific metric you would like to have a look at? Um, you know, right now I'm just kind of trying to wrap my head around everything. I know that for OpenStack, I was really involved with the mentorship metrics, so I've been listening on that. Um, inclusivity is definitely something. I, don't, I really, how does that differ from diversity? Is that we have diversity and this is how we are including the diversity, or? So, the, there are three things. and Let me try to find it in our... Uh, <coughs> here. So in our repository, we define what we mean by diversity, inclusion, retention, and distraction. Do you see my screen? Sorry, yes. Yeah. So diversity is the question of how different are the people that we have? So who is in the room? And then inclusion is how well do we enable these different people to work together? And the difference between diversity and inclusion is that there might be diverse people in the room, but if we don't talk with them and don't have collaboration, then we're not being inclusive. Okay, I follow now. Yeah. Thanks, now that I have these links, I'll definitely go through and read them all before next meeting. Sorry, I didn't know of their existence yet. Oh, no, no worries. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. There's been a lot of work going on here and mm. We do not expect you to <laughs> know everything. So, so any questions, ask at me. any time. <laughs> Thanks, guys. So, so from my perspective, I mean, obviously, anything that's yellow on this list seems like the way to go, right? Mm -hmm. And so then I look at that, and it appears that speaker demographics has the highest rating. Mm -hmm. So as far as <laughs> lowest hanging fruit goes, it seems like to me speaker demographics would be the next one to work on. Yep, we could do that. The other consideration I had is for the governance focus area. We don't have any metric yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw that too. Focus here, let's say code of conduct, because I know that is also one that is often used and talked about. Is that, has that just not been voted on or was that, it has zeros across the board, needs work, including okay. So I would have to open it to see why we voted. Yeah, I was wondering, maybe you have a, a sense of 
which ones might be able to move forward with reasonable speed? Well, we have code of conduct for already merged, but in, in some other focus area. So maybe it makes sense to have a really similar version or I don't know. So looking at it, the code of conduct seems already quite mature. So it's a matter of going through cleaning it up at this point, I think. Do you know why it wasn't rated well on this document? You remember that discussion? No. All right. Mm -hmm. No, I do not. Okay. Yeah, so what do you think, El? It works for you? Code of conduct discussion? I think so, yes. Perfect. I'll create a Google Doc for us to work in. One second. Yeah, so the usual process now is that we open an issue, if there's any, um, and then we link to the Google Doc that Georg creates. So when we start discussing there and write down whatever, suggest things, then once we feel comfortable, then we move this to the pull request. Um, yeah, in fact, I'm reusing an old Google Doc um, that we linked to in a previous issue. So I don't think we need to create a new issue at this point. Okay, in the meeting minutes, I posted the working document that we can all open and start editing. Did you all find the document? I'm in. Yeah, me too. Awesome. So I think the first thing we want to look at is the question. The question and uh, of the other four metrics we changed. So um, we should look at those and make sure we are in line, have a very similar type question. Wait, what was the suggestion, Georg? I'm sorry. In the four metrics that we just merged, we have changed the question to sound different. And we should make sure that this metric has a very similar sounding metric. So I'm going to pull up the other four questions. OK. So I'm adding as alternative question, the question we have in the other code of conduct, like the code of conduct at event that says, how does the co the COC for events support uh, diversity and inclusion? So we are trying to be co uh, consistent across the metrics. So we are trying to use this kind of similar words, support.
So in our minutes document, I posted three questions from the other documents to compare ours to. Yeah. So, oh, by the way, uh, one of the things we are doing as well is we are following a goal question metric approach. So this means that we have, well, goals are in, in the working group focus areas. So for this, we are well defining the main goals that we have when doing this. And then we have like, well, even diversity and uh, recognition of good work. Well, the seven focus areas that you see. Then for each of them, we are uh, defining a set of questions and, and metrics and, and each of them are the ones that you can see here. So this is why in each template, the way we are starting is with, with a question. So this is the question we are trying to solve. Um, gotcha. Here's a really strange question just because I'm trying to go through all the docs. How would you recommend that I start kind of perusing through this so I can catch up? I started with the website and then I see that each group has a different GitHub. Um, would it be easier for me to kind of, or not easier, but I guess make more sense to look over the general GitHub to see the goals and then come down into this working group? That's a good question. Um, <laughs> Just from my new folks coming in. <laughs> yeah, yeah and we, we are not that right about it, to be honest. But the best way I think to do it is to dive into a working group because that is where most of the activity is happening. And then uh, you'll get the bigger picture at some point. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'd, actually, I'd second that. So of the working groups, there are five. And Gary's right, that is really where most of the work occurs. And it kind of works its way up to the community. It's more mm -hmm. of a bottom up from the working groups. So if, if DNI is, is your area of interest, that would be a great place to participate. Okay. So, yeah. Sorry, it was such an open-ended question. I'm just like, all right, trying to get my bearings. <laughs> yeah, and and the, all the working groups kind of kind of function the same. They have some subtle differences, but you know, if over time you wanted to take a look at what was going on and say the risk working group, it should be fairly easy to transition over. So. The practices should look and feel similar between the working groups. Okay, so with regards to the question, I agree, Daniel, what you vote. That's a good question. I'm gonna, I propose to remove what we had before and then move on to the description. Mm -hmm. Oh, El, do you have experience? with the uh, working with code of conduct or so? Um, just with small conferences, nothing at this scale. Well, I have a question on the objectives, anywhere where it says inclusion, should it say diversity and inclusion? Was there a reason for only including inclusion in those statements? Um, uh, my point here is probably that Code of conduct is, is a tool we can use to improve inclusion. Um, so diversity are, let's say, and this is again the discussion we usually have. So I see the diversity like the result, what we have, the numbers, how diverse the community is, while inclusion is like the tool we can use to improve that, those numbers. So code of conduct, I see this as a, as a tool, so this is part of why I see this as only focused on inclusion. But of course, we can use the NI. So should, the, should the question then change to? It's really just kind of keeping those two things parallel. Yeah. Right now, the question is to support DNI. Mm -hmm. But then the objectives are only on inclusion. Yeah, probably we need to both. We need to add, as you said, 
DNA. Yeah. yeah. Do you do it? Do you do it? or Georg? I don't know what you think. I was uh, looking at the other code of conduct document that we have in events, and there we don't use diversity or inclusion. We have completely different objectives. But yes, feel free to add diversity. Okay. So the, wait, there's two code of conduct metrics. One is for governance. Yeah. One's for an event. We have three in total. Oh, one is ready? for governance. Does uh -huh. a code of conduct exist? One is in governance about how well do we enforce it? And one is in events for event diversity, uh, code of conduct. Okay. Okay. The reason behind that is that we started very pragmatic about how code of conduct are used and then built the metrics backwards. So trying to really guide action within communities through these okay. methods. Okay. Okay, well, I'm going to add diversity in there on the objectives. Oops, I should probably be in suggesting mode. So I'll, you're officially invited to just start editing the document how you see fit. And if you're unsure about something to just ask us for our opinions. But okay, yeah, sorry I'm not being too active. I think I'm just kind of watching right now and reading and kind of getting an idea of what it is you guys are doing, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yes, and my point is if as soon as you feel comfortable that you think, hey, I think I can change something, just hmm. go right ahead. Thank you. Um, under strategies, let's see, see the second one mm -hmm. with Mozilla's code of conduct assessment tool. Um, as far as I know, might it be better to have the reference to Mozilla in a known implementation? Or should we single out Mozilla here in the strategies? Yeah, that spot right there. Hmm. Probably, I don't know. So probably we can we can add add the ones we feel comfortable with here, and say this is based on the Mozilla's code of conduct assessment tool, or we point to the Mozilla's code of conduct assessment tool and say, well, you should do this assessment. Yeah, I like, uh, I like the idea of putting it as a known implementation and um, add a new section just like we will do for the Grimoire Lab implementation. Mm -hmm. okay. And we can include the details that are here right now um, as long as we reference where the original source is. So question, so I'm, you know, looking through it and everything, I'm going back and so the sentence, you know, a code of conduct provides enforcement for, to deal with people who misbehave. 
if that reads strangely to me and that word misbehave just doesn't seem to fit with the concept of all of this, mm -hmm. how would I note that or how would I start that discussion? Is it just putting a comment on the side or? Um, yeah, adding a suggestion in the same document or rewriting this and suggesting there. It's okay. great. By the way, I just found the tool from Mozilla, the website, so I'm adding here a link so we can reference this. And by the way, I was not aware of this tool, which sounds to be great to me. It looks like it's out of under development, like it's ready. Uh, no, if you click here. Yeah. In yeah, I mean, is it, right? is it good to go? I'm looking at the website, the Mozilla GitHub.io. Yeah, if you click in about, um, yeah. then you go on how to use this tool. Yeah. Then, then there is at the bottom like next module assessment. Yep. And then it's like complete, isn't it? No. Yeah, looks like it. That's cool. Yeah, so it's not under development anymore. Yeah. No, I agree. Cool. Okay. Okay, I moved it down to known implementations. Okay. You made me delete that E twice. <laughs> Is the is the O small lowercase in C O C? I think so. I think so too. Can we just not use abbreviation for it and always write it out? Yeah, that's probably kind of like diversity and inclusion. Mm -hmm. I think that makes the document more accessible. Then I was, I was having a look at the um, success metrics that we have for qualitative and quantitative. And if you go to the assessment tool from Mozilla, um, it's like they say, well, they, they have three specific goals when, when having for generating and reviewing a code of conduct, which is if the code of conduct fully describe uh, and set a project or even up to sex for success in enforcement. If there is a effectively sign out this project or events as a welcoming and safe space. And if the code of conduct provide guidance for building a healthy project or event. So in our metrics for me, we should bring these three areas in somehow, right? 
because we have the documented reviewing according to criteria and strategies and written now in the in the template we have and then we have the sentiment uh, around this and then we are missing a couple of things like provide guidance um, so I don't know probably it's it's good to to be kind of consistent with the Mozilla tool right What do you think? So I'm comparing this with with the success metrics we have in the template. Sorry, I was on mute. Where you're on the success metrics, so you just want to make sure that these line up with what Mozilla is kind of proposing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if it makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense to me. I mean, I think obviously the folks at Mozilla and in particular, you know, the work that Emma's doing, they've mm -hmm. thought through these issues <laughs> with uh, really, really well. So to me, it makes sense to gravitate towards the story that they're telling. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I know we had plan to spend two hours as a hackathon, but I actually have a hard stop in two minutes. Oh, same here. So, sorry about that. I propose that we message to the mailing list that this is the next metric we are tackling and to invite others to review and then we create the pull request at a later point. Yeah, and can you, if you're going to message the list, can you, I mean, it would be great to start the next DNI meeting with, with kind of everybody's thoughts on this as opposed to opening the discussion mm -hmm. to work on this. As opposed to opening next Monday, saying, hey, we'll just start working again, on it again next Monday. So, <clears throat> yep. Very cool. Very productive. Okay, so L, this is this is a day in the world. <laughs> no, thank you guys for the patience and taking the time to explain everything. I'm gonna read up, and I think once I get a better idea of the work I've already done, I'll be able to better contribute to this in the same mind frame. Would be great. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for joining us. Oh, yeah. Thank you guys for including me. <laughs> All right. Till next time, everybody. Till next time. Bye-bye. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.